Pet expos are dangerous, especially for your wallet. Hi, this is Mark from Tarantohala. We went spontaneously to a pet expo in Chorzów to an organizer from which I basically started my terrarium journey a long, long time ago. It was spontaneous. We made the decision yesterday and we basically just went there to get some snake bedding and yeah, to take a look what's cool. There was no plan of getting any animals since there is so many things to do right now. But yeah, this wouldn't be Tarantohala if we wouldn't go a bit overboard. I mean, <laughs> what have we done? What do we got here? First, this one. This is a Scolopendra Singulata, so uh, a Scolopendra. I am a bit... I mean, afraid is a bad word. I'm a bit... Yeah, I have huge respect for those animals, so... But I always wanted one, so... We got two King Baboon Tarantulas. This was a small dream, because those are pretty rare in Poland. So, I saw the last two, those were probably the only ones during that expo and so far the only ones I saw on any expo so yeah I took them both so far I've heard they are very slow growers and quite big so this will be a fun experience we got two Hilobrachis electric blue I already have two specimen but guys I saw the Hilobrachis when it was an adult female boy they look so amazing and I really want to get a female this magical blue under the legs absolutely awesome here are two Holconia murayensis they are absolutely awesome big fast for some people they look really creepy and I really like that. Here we have the poor man's Harpactira pulchripes. We have two specimens of the Idiotele Mira. Africa. Pretty venomous and they are making some kind of trapdoors, I believe. I always wanted to get one or two, so yeah. And here, Latrodectus elegans. The one I got some time ago, it turned out to be a male, so yeah, bad luck. I got three of those, they are really small, those are really tiny. I believe I need to feed them with Melanogaster fruit flies, so the small ones. Maybe pre-kill them, I don't know, I'll need to check that. I hope they will... I hope they will survive and that we finally get a female. Let's get to the stuff that my girl bought. Basically, you know she's crazy, right? Um, hey! You are crazy. No! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Those are red devil crabs. This one is something that she really wanted to do. A long time ago but there's still some preparation that needs to be done they will get a, they will get a temporary enclosure so yeah they can grow up a little bit and they will go straight into a paludarium and I mean, I mean they are so amazing I was wondering on the pet expo halls and after a while I saw she got a box with an animal inside it's a rodent it's a rat she's very cute i mean she's not scared of humans as far as i can see yeah i haven't kept any rodents before only those in the freezer for our snakes <laughs> <laughs> so this would be a fun experience yep maybe some of you have kept 
rats before and can leave us some some interesting facts about those. So as you can see we managed to acquire some awesome spiders and a nice scolopendra. The rat was yeah that was a surprise you should have seen my face today at the pet expo. But the crabs are awesome and we managed to feed some of those so yeah I really like the huntsman spiders and yeah the Perinobius muticus this is a species I was hunting for a very long time. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos. And as always, thank you for watching. Tarantohala out.